technology students at the University of Derby limbered up to take each other on in a Robot Wars style contest. A dozen teams unveiled their Derby Robots or Darbots at the competition at the University's Mark Eaton Street site. As part of the Embedded Systems module, they pitted their robots against each other over an assault course track which featured marbles, other obstacles and lights. My name's Stuart Sharp, my robot is called D2. I've been doing the software mainly, so I've been programming quite a lot. And it gets quite stressful when, you know, you do, you, something's not working and you just don't know what, and it turns out that you've got one letter wrong in the program somewhere and it's, it's throwing the whole thing out. The Darbot has to go around the track, follows the track using the two uh, sensors on the front there, and then at a specified point, it's two metres along, it has to drop a marble, and then it's got to stop in front of a block, and then when the block's taken away, it carries on along the track and it has to stop inside a box at the end. After that, it has to turn round and, uh, and find a light bulb, which, I mean, we didn't stop in time. Bit of a shame, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's all gone quite well. There was added competitive spice with a number of international students taking part. Each team of three had at least one international student, representing a variety of countries, including Libya, Iran, Pakistan, South Africa and Cyprus, as well as the UK. The fastest to the chequered flag got to lift the trophy. Uh, I mean, we've literally stripped down to just what's necessary. Um, so we've only got like one light sensor um, and just two line following sensors, which makes the program uh, a lot easier to program, basically. So keep things simple, stupid, uh, is the principle which we opted for.